guys this is another dress you need <laughs> welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Athena and I make videos related to motherhood and fashion so I post mother related videos every Monday and uh, curvy girl specifically fashion every Friday so if you like if you like this kind of content give it a thumbs up like this video I mean thumbs up and like the same thing you know subscribe share it with others and all the jars are really appreciated so into this video we are talking about dresses so what kind of dresses should you wear if you are curvy and particularly uh, I would say tight dresses so you know because it's quite a sensitive subject wearing tight clothes when you are curvy or when you're on the when you are a bit bigger than the normal in it so you know you don't always feel comfortable isn't it you don't always feel confident so I want to share I want to tell you the kind of dresses that you can wear that are tight but they are they, they will still look fluttery on your body so um i have a more of a you know smaller waist and bigger hips you know bigger bum and all that so um but i've got a little bit a little bit of belly as well because i had this this one here you know and um but also before her uh, i think i still had a little bit of tummy because i'm a foodie i love to eat and uh you know um i won't lie so so yeah, uh, these dresses I believe look flattery on curvy bodies. If you want to know what dresses make you look more flattery, then keep on watching. I might split this video in part A and part B because I have like 12 different types of dresses that you can wear, but I've got a few suggestion, suggestions to make. So I went ahead and got some dresses from Opoly and Club L London. I believe that Opoly and Club L London really, really uh, have, they have some very good choices for curvier girls. So um, I, I can't recommend them enough if you're on the curvier side. Uh, you can find some very, very, very nice uh, dresses there. Especially Club L London, they have a, a more, of a, they also have a plus size range. I don't buy it from the plus size because plus size I think is from number four, from size 14 onwards. I think plus 16 and I'm, I'm between 10 and 12. So yeah, number one, uh, buy dresses with uh, good material or at least expensive looking material like satin or velvet, you know, um, if you really want to invest your money, get a silk. Dress, but in general expensive looking dresses can really make you look expensive too and for that I've got two recommendations that's dress number one I've got this uh, crushed velvet dress to show you um, that was a gift for my partner actually oh it's club in London actually I did I had no idea to be honest um, but yeah, I think he got it from ASUS a few, a few years ago, actually. And uh, yeah, it's size 10, it's elastic, you know, um, stretchy also. Yes, um, impo very important. Even if you're buying a satin or velvet or silk, you need a stretchier, you know, kind of dress because to hug your, the curves, you need something stretchy. If I wear something stiff, it, it won't look right. And I guess that's a rule. This is a rule for every tight dress that you want to wear. You need to use stretchy material. I don't I don't know if I have it as a separate um, category, but it's just a general rule. You need stretchy material. If you want to buy a tight dress for your curvy or plus size, 
body then you need a stretchier material otherwise it won't hug the curves in the right places so you might have a dress that it fits on your bum but it will be too big on your waist or whatever all that so yeah this is a suggestion I'm gonna be wearing those dresses as well so you can see them in real life as well classic um, velvet tilto neck dress gives what it's supposed to give luxurious elegant all that I don't have much to say and also I've got from Opoly so some new dresses I bought I've got this lovely 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 satin dress it has a little bit of stretch to it it's a stretchy satin material it doesn't have much much stress but it still has a little bit of stretch and um, yeah I'm gonna try that on and show you how it looks on my body I haven't tried it yet so that will be a surprise to me as well I'm really looking forward to see the fit of it this satin gives a very luxurious look very um, makes you look expensive isn't it especially if it's silk this is polyester satin if it's silk actual silk I'm sure you will look 100% more expensive because it's an expensive material and there is a reason everything about this dress is uh, beautiful also the satin material makes it look so nice so it looks so expensive second tip second category of high dresses that you should wear is um, elegant necklines so uh, isometric shoulder turtle neck uh, clo is it claw neck clo neck claw neck is my favorite I think it, it really complements a lot of uh, bodies and um, or maybe cord shoulder so depending on the features that you have if you have you know a nice you know the, the collar bones if you have nice you know nice shoulders if you have if you have a nice neck if you have a nice chest area it depends on the features you want to highlight and the and and your unique features and it because I like my collarbones and uh, this is why I like to wear claw neck um, necklines because it really com complements collarbones or a asymmetric I like as well it really looks nice with my shoulder the collarbones and all that so depending on the features that you have if you have nice breasts it will look nice maybe with a sweetheart neckline so depending on the features then you can choose a neckline you like we it really matters to choose the right neckline it can really make you look very elegant you know and um yeah that's my daughter i'm trying to escape from the room and i have to chase here in a few seconds so for that i've got again such as this dress this velvet black dress it's a turtleneck but it cuts kind of in the middle it's really elegant i think it's it's ele it will look good on many many on different women it, and also this dress is a you know the drape that it has here it also makes it look like a claw neck um, dress the waistline even has the you know ruching and the core neck kind of core neck everything about this dress is uh, beautiful i also have this dress from club in london that i got last year so it's a one 
you know it's a one shoulder it's asymmetric in it so you have this um, you have one one shoulder covered only and it really it, it really complements the collarbones again so that's a very it's a very nice neckline also another dress i would recommend it's a new purchase because so i'm sure you can find i'm gonna link everything down below especially for the new purchases that i made because you can definitely find them again it has the whole whole has the drape you can't see here but you know um it has the, the cold neckline and um yes i've seen it it has some this guys this is another dress you need it's stretchy it's double layer you see the um ruching that goes across here and um it gives you the illusion of our narrow glass figure is it's just it hugs the curves where it should the back is beautiful the neckline again and it it has this ruching here that you can adjust so you can adjust your slit to I'm not sure if you can adjust it actually but yeah it has the slit that you need um, wow it's a beautiful beautiful dress ticks all the boxes for me Even though it's so simple, it's a simple dress, but it's beautiful, you know. I don't think you could ever go wrong with this kind of dress. And you see this neckline, it really um, gives the hourglass figure. This is why I love this neckline. This is why it's one of my favorites. I just I can't get enough of that dress. Just want to stare at myself. So number three, <coughs> you should definitely have a maxi dress with a slit, but a slit that you are comfortable with, like this same black dress. It has a very nice slit that I'm gonna show you. And also this dress again it has a slit that I'm gonna show you in a minute and it's very lovely um, yes yeah, the other way around but anyway yes let me show you those dresses yes that's another beautiful dress I wore it at my uh, daughter's baptism um, you know one shoulder asymmetric is beautiful the ruching here as well and also the slit <laughs> sorry my daughter is just just got ah so you have the slit here a maxi dress i mean classic in it i think every woman should have at least one maxi dress in her wardrobe especially if you are petite and you you know you, you want to wear a maxi dress but you feel you are too short for that i think a slit can save can save the day uh, number four you need ruched ruched dresses like dresses with um ruching um maybe it's in the middle i want to show you this dress it has the ruching just here this one can really camouflage your belly if you have a bit of belly you can it's just gonna 
split today you won't even show it you won't you won't even you won't even be able to tell that you have a belly on that area so i'm really looking forward to try this dress you see it has the ruching in the middle I'm not sure if you can see it and it's not just in the middle it starts from here it starts from here and it, it makes like a curve it's like a curve so it can really camouflage your um, be belly you can choose a ruching in the middle of your bottom area of your bum or ruching on the sides any kind of ruching it can re any kind of ruching can really camouflage you know kind of hide the you know if you have a, a few bits and bits that you don't want to show it can really hide those areas so ruching dresses are very important this is why i love club in london everything is so gorgeous look at this dress it has everything as well it has very sexy neckline you know it has the cut out it has the ruching it has nice mesh the ruching goes you can see the line see the line that goes like this it it just gives just flattens everything in you know it just is so beautiful a beautiful little black dress it, if I wanted a little black dress, this is what I would choose. It's beautiful. And now that it's Christmas is coming, it will be perfect for all your events. Look at the bag. The bag is beautiful. Like, uh, I've got this dress again from Zara. I put it last year. So I'm showing you on the video how it looks. I I wore that dress straight after I gave birth, and I mean you can still see a bit of belly because it's on the side, but it really um, complements the figure as well. But also I have this dress here. I showed this dress before it also even though it has a cool neck line you know very elegant and it has ruching just right the middle of your bum it has on the sides but also in the middle of your bum and that line in the middle of your bum that ruching line it really makes your bum look even more rounder, bigger, nicer, you know? So you need ruched dresses. You need ruching in your life. Trust me when I tell you. Uh, number five. Number five dress you need is wrap plunge dress or a wrap dress in general. It can be a wrap on the breast area or um, you know on the where the the hips are so you need a wrap dress in your life you really complements a lot of body types so if you have breast and you have you know this wrap you see this wrap is 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 like another piece of clothing that comes in front of the other part so um so yeah, if you have breast it can really complement your breast but if you have curves you know and it has the wrap from the waist down you see the wrap dress and it has it has this curve as well here it can really intensify your figure it can really make your figure look uh, hourglass that's another satin dress it does not have any elasticity i thought it had um but yeah I'll, let me try it on let me see if um if it fits me i got a size 12 hopefully fits me 
even though it's not stretchy queer wrap dress work without a stretch i don't know let's find out wow this dress i'm so pleasantly surprised because it's the non-stretchy one so um it doesn't have a stretch but it fits like a glove just need to attach the straps but it's it's beautiful you see what i mean with the wrap dress it just and you know it, it hugs the breast beautifully and you know it has this wrap detail here as well the curve the kind of and we have the ruching this dress it has everything you need in a dress you know if you have curves that's the dress you need and um even if it's not stretchy look it, it just it, it doesn't have a gap here it's just perfect you know it's as if it was uh, made uh, for me <laughs> If I had to choose one dress, that would be the dress. It's beautiful, even the color. I just love it. It really complements my. Um, it just really complements me. Club in London know, knows how to do dresses for curvier girls. It's just this is beautiful, and the material is thick enough to you know to kind of smooth it, smooth out your skin. You know. I don't wear any shapewear or anything like that so because I want to show it as it is it hides the belly it hides everything you don't want but enhance you know the things that needs to enhance yes yeah, so number six you need a dress with the waistline so basically a you know a dress that has a line on the waist but you need that just to give the illusion of an hourglass figure again and yeah i'm talking about this dress again you see it has a waist and um and it's quite unique as well because you know it kind of it kind of does this curve so it's, it's a very nice way as well to hide tummy you know and also another dress that i will suggest is the the one i showed you before the red one let me turn it the right way the line is you know where the waist is so it gives the illusion of a you know if, of a smaller waist really so uh and an hourglass figure so um and look we have the ruching again with this dress it's ruching very good um yeah to hide the tummy and all that so this was part a i'm gonna wrap this video here and um next week i'm gonna bring part b i'm gonna bring another six dresses that you need as a curvy woman but for now i um yeah ju just don't forget to like this video share it subscribe to my channel every little every little helps really and <coughs> i'm taking so much anyway and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye for now all night long yeah we dance with our razor tongues and all day long